think this is one of the things that's so lovely about being a host. The host has a sense of being a family to more than just their immediate family, Absolutely. to the community mm. as a whole. What I would love to see is just people walking through their house just looking at an empty bed or a spare futon and just seeing it not as an object but an opportunity. Um, I've been sent here for some help. Yeah, we'll go through and have a chat. Hi Emily, I'm Marie, I'm the night stop coordinator. Hello. I understand you need to stay in night stop tonight? Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, do you know much about it? Um, not really. Okay, so it's we've got some volunteers that have got spare rooms okay. that are willing to help out young people that are in difficult situations with their housing. Okay. Um, so they're volunteers and so they're not paid, but we do a lot of checks on them, so they get CRB checked and they've got a lot of training and a lot of support. Okay. So you'll be staying in somebody's home um, in their spare room. How does that sound? It's a little bit scary. A little bit scary, <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit scary going and stay with a stranger. Yeah. Well, yeah, all of our hosts are really lovely people and they're used to having people come and go, so they're used to having young people in their home. Okay. Can you tell me a bit about why you're homeless? Um, I used to live with my mum um, and she had a new partner and stuff and it didn't really work out. It, we, I didn't get on with him and she decided... OK, yeah. so we'll set you up in a night start. Do you use drugs or alcohol? I do. I, do, I um, use drugs, but not not um, a full-on drug person. OK, if you arrived um, at Andrew's house under the influence, then he would have to turn you away. OK. So Night Stop has a zero-tolerance policy on That's drug fine, use. Yeah. OK. OK. Have you ever suffered any mental health problems? Any depression? Um, mild depression, yeah. OK. Did you get any prescriptions for that? Um, no, it was just... I just had counselling. OK. OK. So there's some um, walls that you need to stick to when you're staying in night stops. So I've mentioned the thing about drug use, so zero yeah. tolerance on drugs. Um, the, the address that you're staying in is confidential. Okay. Just ask if you want to use the telephone or the internet and just be mindful that you're in someone's home okay. and just be respectful and clear up after yourself. Hi, my name is Andrew and I've been a host now for a year almost. I, I, I admire them really because most of them have had quite a tough time really one way or another. And although whatever they appear like on the surface, I think they've been through the mill and uh, I, I'm quite impressed by their courage in, in, in all the circumstances that they, they're in. I have to say I found them really personally very charming, all of them, <laughs> and extremely well-mannered and, and really very grateful for, for, for the service generally and grateful to me personally which is extremely nice. I've had five guests in total. It's really just being, um, being welcoming, uh, giving some nice food, bed, shelter. It's a very straightforward task. And that's one of the things that appeals to me about it, really. Because my daughter in her early teens went on a bit of a teenage rampage. And she was disappearing to places in South London. And I knew that certain nights she didn't have anywhere to go and so I looked uh, for somewhere to recommend to her and there was just nowhere available and so knowing the, the sort of anguish of, of a young person on the streets and the, the risks that they run uh, I've got a spare room and it seemed to me something simple I could do for a very vulnerable people and, and so that, that's really what got me into it. Really, I'm not looking for anybody to say thank you. It's just knowing that there is one person that I've made safe for that night and that they've got shelter and, and safety, really, is, is the key word, I would say. Night stop. Communicate brilliantly before the uh, placement and during the placement as well to m and, and afterwards to make sure it's all gone well. And if there's any sort of problem, you've got a helpline there 24 hours a day and you get straight on and they sort things out. So it's... It's really been, and the training was, I thought, excellent as well. So I think the organisation, it's relatively small and it's personal, and the, the service to me as a host has been exemplary, I think.
you feel that becoming homeless is because you're inadequate or because you you can't handle the situations but sometimes it just happens to you and you just don't know where to turn to or what to do my children really really enjoy having people come in and feeling that yeah we we, we have a home that is welcoming 